Hi, my name's Dina. By all accounts, I have Asperger's. It was named after the doctor who first diagnosed it, who was German, and it was Dr Asperger. This is one of my favourite places in the world. This is Nexus um, Art Cafe, and it's behind all the busy bits near to creative support. I like this. This is like an oasis. I like Nexus because I'm very arty and I'm very creative, and I like the kind of vibe here, and I like the people that come in here. I like to think that Asperger's autistic spectrum disorder is what I call the subtle form of autism. I say this because quite often it goes undiagnosed or it goes unnoticed and it's very subtle but for the person who has it, it doesn't feel like it's it's subtle because there are a lot of cognitive things that are going on behind the scene. There are things that I do struggle with that people find a bit weird on a day-to-day -day basis. Any changes to my routine no matter again how subtle they be or how slight causes me to experience high volumes of anxiety the balancing I've always done that from being a little girl it serves twofold one is when I'm really really happy it's a bit like a rabbit when they're happy and they're skipping about in the natural environment with Asperger's you're not really bothered about what other people think I don't care where I'm back doing my balancing but I usually do it one if I'm really happy and then that's kind of an expression of me and it's a quirky creative um, behavior mannerism I suppose and um, you'll catch me smiling the other time I do it is if I've recently had an episode and I'm really stressed then I will say I have to go and do my balancing and it acts as a self-calming self-soothing um, exercise the, my first love was Lady Gaga and that phase lasted for about six years. I've seen Lady Gaga eight times and I absolutely adore her. But then I'm starting to go off her a little bit so I know that that face is kind of waning and now it's all about rabbits. Everything's about rabbits, conversations all about rabbits um, and sometimes people have to say, Dee, can we talk about something other than rabbits? Um, I don't like noise where I'm living. There have been occasions where the neighbours downstairs have played loud music and other people might not find this particularly... Um, annoying but I find it really annoying even in the cyber cafe where I feel safe where if there's too much stimulation my ears will start to hurt and I have to put my hands over my ears and say uh oh too much noise too much no noise need to find a safe space I've seen Wicked twice I could go that's another thing about Asperger's I could go and see Wicked every single week and not get fed up with it and I like being different I, I don't mind having Asperger's well I do sometimes that's another thing I tend to contradict myself a lot um, but I like to be different and I like to be quirky and I'm me so get used to it yeah so where are we now Andrew? at Dudley Ford right, mm. what are we doing here? what are we doing here? we're having a coffee and cake well, my name's Brendan. I'm a relatively new worker in the project. I've been working with Andrew quite a lot. I've got to know Andrew in the couple of months I've been here. Um, it's a very active project. Um, we try to stay flexible, but try to make sure that things happen. Today, um, we're out at Bradley Fold Garden Centre for a very important event in Andrew's day, which is his coffee and his cake. Important thing in your week, what do you like the best? What's the thing that jumps out most to you in, in, your, in the things you do every week? What's the best? What's your favourite? Going out. Going out. I suppose the opposite of that is you don't like being stuck in. I don't like being stuck, stuck, stuck out in. And in. Stuck be out and in, yeah. Maybe if I'm stuck in, bored. Bored. It's all about helping you, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's keeping you happy, mm -hmm. isn't it? Making sure that you have a nice day. Yeah. And that this is what we, we often say to you, isn't it? Yeah. And that you've got a nice routine that you've built up, haven't you? Yeah. So, can you remember your routine? Good morning. Um, um. Night time. So I've been doing my morning routine. Have a shave, brush my teeth, mop the floor, 
have a boo. Yeah, I've done all those things this morning. You can do that on your own, don't you? Yeah, do all that on my own. Very independent. Yeah. It's just us in the background. Mm -hmm. And then after you've had a shave, you start all the, I mean, you work really hard, don't you, in the mornings? Yeah. And you're very, very good at it. You never need prompting or asking twice. No. You like specific things on telly, don't you? Yeah. What's that? Salt. So, massive fan of EastEnders. EastEnders. Emma Dale. Emma Dale. And Cora. Coronation Street. Huge fan. Oh, oh my son goes, I'm going, he's going to go to my gym house for that a summer. I had a race, have a swim. Yeah, five K runs. It's hard work doing five K runs. But do I get me dinner out after and done my five K runs? Yeah. Yeah, get me dinner out after my five K runs after my dinner at the end of it. <laughs> I think that's the least you should do after yeah. the 5k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name's my name's Michael and I'm and I'm an autism. My my um my brother does my brother's autism as well, you see. He he can't talk. He he's like, my brother signs um a BSL, he's called a BSL club and he's so he knows what he wants and what he's saying. Um breakthrough or Sabba Cafe's got um where you can have your lunch there and there's um computers there and they do um, you know you got ads like art cooking, music. I'm going to um, paint my um, crocodile. You now out of dough I made about f about a few weeks ago. Well, we've got we've got two two separate houses. I'm I'm living in 3032 with one another tenant called Sean and then I'm living in with Christopher and um Annas. Well, Annas and Chris has a dr driver's. I do independently so I I just got I walk I go to um I have a bus pass, Tesla car, so I go to go on buses to get to um, town. Yeah, get out and about. It helps uh, and stuff. I help him to like when I when I get up, uh, so the staff comes and wakes me up in the morning, and they give me about 45 minutes for me shower, give me time to get dressed and come down. They just come and wake me up, say good morning, Michael. So they don't knock and. And I do my teeth. We, we do it. We get. We got a bit routine. Mondays. Then I do a bit of shopping. Then I go on the computers. Then Tuesday I do town. Wednesday, it's have a cafe and art. Thursday's cooking and also go and see Brian. And then on Friday I do um, snooker. I need help with cooking. Not to learn how to cut the. Um, on the cookers, washing, not, not learn how to switch, how to turn off the wash, you know, the washing machine, and then they help with showers and cleaning, learning how to clean and learning me how to helping me to shave. So I um, support five clubs: Manchester United, Man City, Bolton, Blackburn, and Burnley, and they've got lots of countries as well, you know, the internationals like England and Brazil. Been a long, it's been a long time. I used to go and watch football, I used to go and watch them. Oh, um, going out gets me a bit nervous. In the, well, in the summer sometimes. Yeah. Um, what else? In the dark. Night times as well, going out in the night times. And seeing planes as well. In, in Stockport. It's so big. That scares me as well. here at uh, Radcliffe Road and uh, today I've been out with uh, Aaron and uh, what Aaron enjoys is just that interaction with staff and we've uh, been swimming and playing football as well. Uh, he enjoys it, uh, playing with the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball, um, 
playing headers and uh, all sorts of fun and games in the swimming pool. When he's engaging in an activity positively, he's, he's very, um, he, does, he doesn't mind engaging, but if he's, if he's not happy, he will often kind of shy away, throw things or even uh, spit or sometimes even become aggressive. Um, but uh, today's activity was all about um, Alan's uh, choices in a person-centred way and because, um, because of that really is uh, engaged well with staff. The thumbs up uh, means it's, it's great, everything's good and the thumbs down, you know, to back off. Maybe you've got too close to him or you've not given him enough time to recognise um, certain uh, instructions. Um, and you've become too close, it's not a time to process information, so he might turn his thumbs down. In that case, you step back and uh, you speak slower, very gently, and give him enough time to process the information, then he might put his thumbs back up. I've just been copying other, other staff and picked up on what works and what I've been told doesn't work. So my um, relationship with her is, is very, very positive, uh, just through having a good handover of what works and what doesn't work. His routine is, is everything really. He feels secure in a, in a routine and um, for him to have a, a structure, it's as well as security. He knows he's doing things that he, um, that he knows what's coming next, but also that he likes. So routine and structure is, is very important, very important. Alan does something that's, um, that's successful, we like to uh, celebrate. It's just um, a way of, of expressing what he's doing is very, is very good, very positive, but he also gets a lot of confidence from, from the celebration. And it's just a way of bonding with him. Um, he's very, uh, it's very good to celebrate with him because you get that connection with him and you bond with him. And it's a real feel good factor as well when you both celebrate. For example, when he, um, when he did a header or when he tried to do a, a backflip uh, with a football, um, both were celebrated together. It's just, it's just nice, nice thing to do. It's good to get that bond. Yeah.